Oh, look who we have over here. Conrad Werner. Now I'm a paragon. Damn. Is that Damn. Really? Wow, it's you. Okay. Hold on, fanboy. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Oh. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Hmm? Most probably around 30. Hmm. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, um, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Ah, oh, let's see what happens when you go down the Paragon route with him. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Huh. Okay. That was civil. Civil as hell. Paragon route to talking to Conrad. Well, it's way more interesting. Open up. Back in Mass Effect 1. With uh, Okatano. Emily Wong. Oh, God. Commander oh, Excuse me, Commander another Shepard. Paragon. Talk. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Ah, oh, sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. That's a bad point. And thanks for bringing up my dad's squad mates. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Mm-hmm. Right. How's that? Scenic view, observe. Someone's gotta talk. Oh, we're just actually looking out the window. Damn, this is huge. Big place. <laughs> that your professional opinion, sir? He's right, Chief. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? <laughs> God damn it, Ashley. Oh, hardly appropriate. <laughs> oh, are we flirting with Caden here? Oh, I have no plans on romance so far. Oh. All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye, aye, ma'am. That I'll was a long stay you. done. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? You think it's expensive to live here? Okay. No more racist one-liners. Ah, oh, CSAC Academy. 
I need to go up and to the left, I believe. The destination symbol. Ah, cheaper. No. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Hostile contact! Shoot them too, Garrus, what the hell? Oh. I have abilities now. Leveled up. Adrenaline. A nice quick scope. Already missed my wanker chat. We're oh, yeah, quick scoping. I'm a little busy here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everything's under control. He has a lot of new patients. Oh, it's explosive, not lootable. Too many lights, too much noise. Oh, this lootable. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, and switch people. Oh no, oh, difficult decision. You already spoiled me who I will find. Wait, do I have her in dead armor? No way. Did I download that armor again? Must be a glitch. Huh. Oh, ah. Can I switch outfits through? No. And... Mm, let's take Caden. Sure. What's up, bro? If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. I don't gamble. Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wards, legal or otherwise. Mm. There's very little serious crime in this arm of the wards. Maybe because the CSEC Academy is so close by. That makes sense. No one would rob the bank right next to a police station. Kitchen, first aid, what the hell is damping? 
Just taking it. Just because I want damping. Okay. It's like an EMP. Not yet. Turin agent. Go, you, go. I mean, it's right here. That's right here. Don't kid yourself. It's even bigger than it looks. How would you know? Well, it's huge. The Citadel of Salang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? I'll just ask Garrus here. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Damn, that's a long hallway. Looks evil. Let's see if we got anything. Down, In light yeah. of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. News. No crew talk. Some bro. Ah, nothing. This place is big. Requisition sex uh, sec offices and traffic control. I I saw a quest symbol. Anyways, let's go here first. Not a keeper. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Hmm. It's another shop. Of stuff that I can't afford. In the garage and labs license and licenses. Hail Hydra. Yeah, no. No keeper quest. Elevator. Elevator. Here is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. 
You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. That easy. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay. Sure, that's just something. I need to pick a squad. That's right. Oh, a squad. I didn't even check equipment. I don't think you have too much for Rex here. Warp. Huh. B. Sanity. Everything. Can't get through yet, damn it. This way, and then we we'll take the elevator time. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. It's most like set up in here. Hello, Commander. Some bro. Oh, where does this lead? Perfect control. Just another quick way to get around. No? Weapons lockers. An elevator I can't use. And that's the part of the game where I'm just running around. Aimlessly. And the music stops every time. I need it the most. Okay, there are some elevators. Hopefully they lead me right where I need to be. Elevator. Docking bay. And you? The wards, maybe? The presidium? Ah! Oh, let's go to the docking bay. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. <laughs> the excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Stupid. Big. 
Surely there's just... No. No. No, that's not where I want to be. Huh? Indeed. We always see a few civilians hanging around the academy waiting to speak to an officer about some problem or other. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. I'm surprised that you're willing to kill your own, Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Mm. Poetic. So. How do I get down to the vaults? Let's do this way. The cream symbols a shop. Yeah. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. So he officially quit his CSEC job. And, uh, 20 minutes we were just running around. Okay. Or before I'd actually. That also would make sense. Officer Lang. Officer Lang, bang. Gang. Clinic all the way. I think I've been down here. Endlessly running around. Go back to the bar before I give up. What? Boston. No assassins this time. Oh. Looks like it shut oh. down. Look out! Enemy is everywhere! <laughs> Douchebag. Mm, can I get boost? Damn pain. Look out! Powering up. Bang. Best quick scope in the game. Negative oh, contacts, Commander. No one can one be one me. Is that a bomb? Oh. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Good boy, Garrus. Oh. This might be upgrade. Always press tab. I think it's the equipment thing. H2, of course. I don't even know what they are having. Uh, I'll figure that out another time. Uh, 
I mean, if there's a two in it, it's gonna be better. Reply two, two, two. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I like the laser flowing by. Go, go, go! Wait! Go. Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now! Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Oh, there's a timer. Damn it. Let me just loot here. We're lost. Nope, 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 nope. How far are we into it? Ah, I can perfectly fit that in. Oh, we need to shoot our way through. Locked and loaded. Enemy sighted. Throw him. I'm in warp. Took him out. Oh shit. Yes. one way to run to yeah did you bring it where's the shadow broker where's fist they'll be here where's the evidence no way the deal's off smart girl Did not. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. And here we have almost the whole team together. The whole alien team with me. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Don't worry about that. Uh... C-Sec, Officer, and Rex. 
Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Welcome to the team. Never recruited so many people so quickly. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Bam. Bam. Yes. Just yes. Should take Ashley and no, no, later, later. Ashley and Tali will be a funny combination. What to say? Hmm. Wait. Nothing. No one. Okay. Then we you don't need. But over. 
Good recruiting session. Good recruiting session. Peace out.